Bought myself an Apco Vista wing and an armoured harness. So I set about getting it tested out and adjusted with Jean Luc. <laughs> <laughs> My instructor, Jean-Luc, put on a show of precision flying. <laughs> the amount of control he had over that glider was unbelievable. getting better at these launches. It's my fourth day of paraglider training. I'm getting a lot more confident in the sky. Kick those trees. John Luke also gave me a demo of paramotor flight. The weather wasn't letting me fly much at Rainbow, so I left, headed down to the Gold Coast, and set up camp at Canangra. Nice early start to the day. I think I found the right place to start my flying. Freezing cold, foggy. Paraglider training day five. Time to learn how to fly inland. Very different from coastal flying, with a completely different set of challenges and techniques. Lisa from Oz Paragliding and Hang Gliding has been doing a great job teaching me about inland flying. Yes. Bloody camera mount kept getting broken. Hey, hey, Julian, nice launch, buddy. It's time to do a high flight from Tambourine Mountain. First okay. inland high flight. Paraglider training, day six. I'm really unhappy with my launch. All over the place, unstable. Okay, hands slowly up. Alex, hands slowly up. Back in your hand. Back to keep aim for that tree. It's really important. Aim for that tree because you lost a bit of light. See that aim to your right to the big tree. Oh my god, this is beautiful. is making the flight look magical, but I can't see the ground. Ah, oh, there it is. These inland landings are much faster than coastal landings, a lot more challenging.
If you enjoy this kind of positive adventure content, please like, subscribe, and check out a few of these other adventures.